My face looks really red. <laughs> I really hope it's the settings. I actually might check it really quick. And yes, I have a situation. I know for a fact, welcome, by the way, I know for a fact this is from sugar. This little breakout that I've had and then I pick at it and then it gets worse and then it's a whole thing, it is from sugar. I have like fallen off. I don't eat a ton of sugar, but I have little Hershey Kisses that are nestled away in the corner for Christmas and I just keep eating a couple. And you know, when I have my snack, I don't eat them all day long. I sit down, I have a little snack and I know for a fact that sugar does this to my face. The rest of it is fine. I did a little peeling solution this morning after my shower. So I am gonna try really hard today and this weekend to not eat sugar and see if I can get this cleared up. I'm actually gonna put some like um, anaset, like an antibiotic ointment on it and, uh, and like some Neosporin on it uh, and see if I can get it cleared up. I'm going down this rabbit hole of Christmas cards and I got our photo done. I'm okay with it, it's gonna be fine, but I wanted to like, it's not perfect. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, it's not perfect. In the in years past, I would have said, nope, we have to do the whole photo session again. And I still might, it might be fun to do it if my kids are in agreement with it and I have a nice day. But it's kind of how 2021 was. Kind of good, but kind of like, are we still in this, right? And so it's kind of doing justice to how the year was. And also I didn't want, because the photo isn't that great and the year wasn't that great, it was, it was, like we had a great year. It's a whole thing. And so I just didn't want to do like Merry Christmas on the card. Like I didn't want to just like have your standard Happy Holidays card from Costco. I wanted it to fit how we felt about this year and I finally found one. I've been able to edit the version that I found which was part of my problem. I wanted to like edit what the card itself said and not having to like do all of that editing myself like creating the whole concept to begin with. I think I finally figured it out and it's on a site that gives me, I can go and find a discount on Groupon, which is always like how I make things more affordable. So I think I've got it and then I'm gonna go find my discount on Groupon and then I think I'm gonna order our Christmas cards. If I get my discount, I can order a ton of them and I can send some to you. Again, if you'd like a Christmas card, go ahead and either drop me your address. I don't want you to put your address in the comments below. I don't think that's safe, but you can go and put it on my Instagram, Dana Creates, and you can just send it to me in a DM or you can shoot me like a little postcard or a little letter in the mail and send it to our post office box. Again, that's down in the description. It's, I think it's PO Box 815 in Issaquah, Washington, 98027. And you can send me a little card and then I can send you back a Christmas card and that way I'll have your address and everyone's kind of protected with their addresses. So I keep going down this rabbit hole in working on the Christmas card and I, I'm finally done. I'm listening to Taylor Swift. Yes, I am. And I am going to do a fun video today, a fun project today. Let me go show you what I'm gonna do. So I've got all our decorations here in this room and I've got our tree ready to set up. I think we're gonna do that on Sunday. Jason wants to help me with it. He might start setting up the tree to, tonight or tomorrow. No, he can't do it tonight. Tomorrow night. And then we'll set the tree up and then decorate it with the kids on Sunday afternoon. And then the only other thing that I need to do to decorate is the front porch, which I'm not gonna do a ton, but this mantle, I really like kind of the simplicity of it. I don't know, it's like this tree stand and this little sign. Oh, let me show you really quick. I made this little garland yesterday, this little tassel garland. I was watching a movie and I just thought, you know, I've got extra beads to match the kit that I got here. And I made this these two little swags here and I thought I could make something for this little sign right here. So I did that and then I made the little tassels on the end and it's detachable. I can just take it off and I actually will probably use this like on a tray on the table or something or even over on the shelves in throughout the year and then I can just reattach it to this next Christmas but I really liked the simplicity of the mantle like it is but I kind of want to like spruce it up just a little bit for Christmas and then we need to put our stockings on and I don't want to put my stocking holders on it spills out peace and I think I'm over that and so I'm gonna don't tell Jason, but I think I'm gonna get more of these little nails. I've got a, like a little teeny tiny nail that I usually string like a garland across the mantle with. I think I might add a whole bunch of them and just hang our stockings from little nails. Like you don't notice them right here during the year. And, and this is all like faux. This little mantle just pulls off. Um, it's not even, re it doesn't even like belong on there. We just made it ourselves. That's in a whole nother video. But I need to have greenery on here. I love greenery. I love 
fresh pine garlands during the winter and since we don't do real Christmas trees anymore, this is the way I can get the smell into the house and the greenery and the fresh and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not gonna go heavy handed and so I'm gonna, hopefully while it's not raining outside, I'm gonna go out and gather my greenery from the forest, which is literally right outside, which is fantastic, it's totally free. And I'm gonna make a garland and I'm gonna do a separate video for that. So stay tuned for that video because I'm gonna use a new technique this time and I think it will be easier to make it and then transport it and put it up here and it'll allow me to make it thinner and and like more wispy I guess and so once I get the garland done and the tree decorated then I can do a whole house tour of all of our Christmas decorations be done with it but also <sighs> masks yeah mama we put all our masks in the laundry guys I found four masks four in my car we went out one time last night one time so let me show you really quick little sneak peek all right, so I finished this little three-tiered stand, but look what I did to those little like branches that I added in there. I flocked them. <laughs> I kinda wanna flock everything, you guys. Seriously, like I'm loving it. Look at this one up here. It totally adds a different look to it. I don't know, I just, I love it. And it kinda takes away some of the green and then the, the snowy look to it kinda adds to the whimsical, like wintry effect of it. So I won't show you all of them because that will be too much of a, you know, sneak peek. But I did do that to all the greenery that I have in all my little baskets and things around the house. But I think, I'm gonna test it out, but I think I might do that on the mantle one too. I'm really loving the white and the black here on the mantle. And I think like if I add the uh, flocking to the garland, pretty. Like having done that for the tree upstairs, if you haven't seen that video, it's yesterday's. It really added a fun look to that little teeny tiny tree. And then you add lights to it. And I just, I think I'm gonna do it. So stay tuned for that garland video, but that's what I've gotta go do now. I'll bring you with me. We're gonna go into the woods, pick out the greenery and whatnot. I gotta get some like shears from the garage. And I've got my big, my big bulky sweatshirt on and my sweatpants on to go out into the cold. But I'm really quick, I'm gonna go and order my Christmas cards. And then we'll go outside before, maybe I should just go outside while it's not raining. That was my problem yesterday. I put it off and I put it off and I put it off and it was just cold. And then all of a sudden it just it started dumping. So off we go. Christmas cards are ordered. I had to pay shipping, which was like eight bucks, and then the taxes on it was like nine dollars because I got $80 cards for $26. So I did have to pay the tax on the full of $80, which is totally fine. And yes, tax in Washington state is 10%. It kind of sucks. Okay, let's I'm gonna go and fix this face. I can't film the rest of this video today and another one with this face. Let me show you this little tree up here. I don't think I showed you yesterday. Look at this tree I did. Look how cute it is. It's a little smaller than I wanted, but it, it's cute up here. It doesn't take up a ton of space because when the teenagers are here, they're all over the floor. They have the bean bag and they pull all the pillows out and all the blankets. You can see this is the cute little cream blanket that I got to go up here. Now you can see why. <laughs> That tree is so small. It's like a little Charlie Brown tree in the corner. But it's cute and it won't be in their way. They literally like have this giant like pillow area when they all come over. So a bigger tree would just be in the way. But I'm gonna fix my face. Let's do this. We also have friend night tonight. So we wanted to do it tomorrow night but they're busy. So we're gonna go out tonight too. So it makes it worth doing the makeup. You can still see the breakout stuff here but actually in the mirror it's showing up a lot more on camera but it's not in the mirror all right so I am going to go ahead and go outside I don't nope not raining oh maybe it just started to rain okay we gotta head outside quickly and go ahead and start picking our greenery and then I will be able to film that video also I'm gonna put a prettier shirt on start that video and then I'll put this one back on in order to make the garland so I don't get the pretty one dirty you know do what you gotta do all right I came out to the garage and I've got gloves and my little cutters and a paper and a plastic bag I also need a tripod set the camera up I think we're ready to go outside let's go
All right, I've got my branches and it did not rain, which is wonderful. See, I just go down this little side road and you can't even tell I cut two bags of greenery. It's because we live in the Northwest. And it's just, if this is what Costco does to make their wreaths, why can't I do it? So <laughs> anyway, now to go back home and start this video and making a garland. Just finished my garland. It may have gotten flocked. I'm kind of obsessed, but it's drying and I'm almost done with that video. So I'm going to stop. I'm watching Bachelorette still. I'm going to get myself some lunch. It's like two o'clock. <laughs> starving, but I didn't want to like stop in the middle of that process. Um, I wanted to have it cleaned up and put away. Being good. I'm getting some raspberries, some cottage cheese, and I think I'm gonna have the last of the salami. Get these at Costco. I think I have another pack in the freezer that I'm gonna pull out. I actually need to run out and mail a package. Check out these shoes, you guys. So we have a friend back from back home that Jason knew, met in, high, in college, and then we became friends when we were dating. But look at these cute shoes. Sending these to her from our store. She's just had a hard time finding something that works for work or for casual. She's an accountant and, or I don't know. She is an accountant, but she works for the government. Anyway, I'm gonna, oh, I need to wrap them. That's what I need to do. That's why they're on the counter. So I need to wrap these up in some butcher paper and then take that and mail it to her. But I know my tendencies, if I go out, I'm gonna wanna go and get something for lunch while I'm out, so I'm trying to be good. So I'm gonna wrap this up, have some lunch, take this to the post office, and then also it's fun because the couple that we're gonna go play games with tonight, they are currently at our store getting shoes from Jason, which is kind of fun. It's far enough away that a lot of our friends don't go clear up there and I totally get it. It's a long ways away. It's like 30, 35 minutes away, but she's like, nope, I'm going, I'm gonna get some shoes. So he's gonna get to spend a lot of time with them today. All right, I'm gonna fill up my water again. I'm gonna do good and then have lunch. Well, you know, I already told you. Lunch, package. Hi. I never catch you unless I catch you right in this moment. Yeah. Say hi. Hi. How was school? Tiring. We yeah, had like a bunch. Like always. Okay, I have a question for you. Uh, so Dad and I are going to our friend's house tonight, but we'll start which like one? the Browns. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> which house? I know, but we'll go. We'll go to their house. Okay. So we're gonna start your movie night a little bit earlier, and then you guys can finish it. Well, we're gone. Okay. Is that okay? Can I get snacks? Yeah. Do you want to go with me to get snacks? I'm gonna need to pick out a red box. Okay. You don't have to. I will, cause I want to pick my own treat. Okay. Then so we need to pick a red box. Did you guys still want to see Peter Rabbit too? I haven't watched it, so. Sure. You haven't seen but, that like, one. I want something else to, just besides that. Okay. Like it's kind of boring. <laughs> okay. It's boring, yeah. Let me look at the rest of them. Chelsea has decided not to go with us to get the snacks, but I guarantee you Ashley will want to go with me. She will be home for one minute and she'll be bored. Although she could go out and play today. It's not raining. A lot of the times she can't go and ra out and play. Whoops. There you go. A lot of times she can't go out to play because it's raining. So I'm just going to get myself ready to go. She's not quite yet here yet, but I think I'll meet her out at the bus stop because I need to get that package mailed off today and go get their snacks. And I picked out Redbox movies for them. We're getting Boss Baby, Family Business, I think is what it's called, Peter Rabbit 2, and I got Old, the movie by M. Night Shemlon to watch tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon. It looks good. And given that I just finished watching the series of M. Night Shemlons on, I think it was on Netflix. So good. Why is this light? Okay, sorry about the light. I don't know why it's being all weird. Okay, I'm gonna go and get Ashley from the bus really quick. I thought I'd leave a lot earlier, but when I realized it was almost time for her to come home, I, uh, I made a mess out here. Then I just decided to wait until she got home. So let's go get her from the bus. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> she had a different mask on when she went to school. You said it was bothering you? Yeah. Was it the smell or the size? Not the size. The size and the smell was easy, but it just like bugged my nose and also it was like, is that because you didn't have any masks of your own to use? Yes. And why is that? Because I can't find them. Um, that's because there was four in the car here this morning. Two by the fireplace, one on the stairs, probably more in their bedroom, and that means that none of them are washed. 
So tomorrow when we do laundry, we're gonna gather all of them up and make sure they all get washed, okay? Okay, but we are off. I've gotta go mail this package first, Ashley, and then we're gonna go pick out snacks, get your red box movies. You have a good day at school? Yeah. Can you buckle up? Oh, you are? Okay, are you glad it's Friday? Yeah, how many days until your cast comes off? Five. Five, and how many school days do you have? Two. Two, does that make you happy? You don't even have to go to school on the, the day you get your cast off. I mean, in the morning. You'll go afterward. Okay, let's go get our snacks. What are you gonna choose? Yeah. You don't know? Okay. Yep. What? Still a little short. I didn't know I didn't okay, know. nice. Good job. Thought we would check our P.O. box again. It's been a couple days. Do you know how to put keys in? Yeah, here. There you go. <gasps> two. Two? Yeah. You get to be the lucky one to get our first two? Yeah. Who are they from? Of course, it's from Lydia. And I have to show not on the address, like show their addresses. And a Miss Cindy Harris. That's kind of fun. Should we open them? Yeah, let's go to the car and open them. Okay. I have the one from Lydia. This is who we met in Hawaii, which is really fun. And then yours is from a Miss Cindy, yeah. right? Show the cute cards. From our home okay. to yours at Thanksgiving, of all the blessings God gives through the years, the friends he sends are among the most treasured. <laughs> How cute! And it's actually like my first Thanksgiving card. Yeah. So that's kind of fun. Can that's I so great. We are so very thankful for our newly fr found friendship. We hope your family has a blessed Thanksgiving. Nick and Lydia. Thank you. How fun. And now I have their address. Send them a card. Yeah, you can't ruin the addresses, boo. That's the whole idea is that they're sending them so that I can have their address. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Look at that, you guys. Handcrafted. Wow, Cindy. That is amazing. And then it's, oh, it's a long one. Should I read it? Yeah. Dear Dana, I am so glad you have a P.O. box now. I love watching your YouTube channel. I don't have Instagram and I would like to be on your Christmas card list. I am a, oh, she is, oh, okay, Scrapbooking Mama on YouTube. I didn't know your name, Cindy. That is cool, but now I know your name. Um, sometimes with your profiles, I don't know your names. Um, so I feel bad, so now I know it's Cindy. Um, but I just watch, I don't vlog. That's totally fine. Is it is it it is okay to say my name in your video if you want to? Because we just did. Hope you and your family have an awesome Thanksgiving. Hugs, Cindy Harris. That is so cool. Now we have her address. And also Cindy, that's so that is so cool. It's like 3D yeah. little scarecrow. Very talented. Very fun. So now we have our first two people to send a Christmas card to, yes. right? We're gonna start making a list. And I've ordered the cards, they'll be here in a couple days. And the only bad thing was that I couldn't order our, our address to be printed on it. I did that last year, I had our like return address printed on the back and it saved me so much time. But I couldn't split it between like our friends and family where I want my address to be on it so that if they need my address for whatever reason. I couldn't split it between like the P.O. box and my like actual, actual address. So there's gonna be a lot of writing to do or maybe I'll order one of those like stamps or like stickers. So sometimes our insurance company will send us stickers with our address on it. Like with our end of year like insurance statement or whatever for our cars. Here's to hoping that actually happens. Okay, next up is off to get snacks. But that was kind of fun, huh, Ashley? Yeah. Get our first cards. And I love that you were there with me, honey, to get our first cards. Yeah. yeah.
Why is sour cream in here? Because I'm taking it with me. That was our treat. You're giving away our treats. <laughs> We're heading to game night. Oh, I can't reach it. It locks. We're heading to game night with our friends. We have little kids watching Boss Baby and eating popcorn now that they've had dinner. And then the teenagers, let me turn on the light. The teenagers are, oh, there's Veronica. Oh yeah, here, here stop, open your window. You can go in the, to the garage, we'll open it for okay, you. Thank you. Yep. Tell Kaylee to shut the garage. Yeah, I'll tell her. So anyway, Kaylee has her boyfriend over, but then more teenagers are coming over. Kaylee and Jacob can't be alone. <laughs> so they're all gonna watch the movie Old by M. Night Shemlon. And um, and some may think that it's, why are we okay with leaving teenagers? Um, they're totally trustworthy and they don't do anything wrong. That's what I always say. Stop. It's not my keg of beer. It was my friends. I'm just holding on to it. <laughs> One, we don't even have alcohol in the house. No, I don't. We trust when there's more teenagers over there, yes. more than we do when Kaylee and Jacob are left. Which they're not allowed to be there. They're by not themselves. allowed to be there by themselves. That so, anyway, um, let me tell Kaylee really quick to shut the garage. Shut the garage door, please. We're gonna go to game night. I don't know if the other couple is coming. I think it's just the four of us this time. Oh. Um, I just was barely telling him that we got our first P.O. box. Packet, they're not packages. Those are cute cars. Do like you see them? amazing. Yeah. Scarecrow one or whatever. Ashley it, keeps looking at it. through it, but it looks really cool. Yeah, she keeps looking at it. She's like, she really made this, you know? Wow. Yeah, it's really fun to, uh, get that and my cards are on their way and we'll be starting to address your Christmas cards very soon. Are you guys getting geared up? Have you decorated? Have you started shopping for Christmas? Are you done? Let us know down below. Are you I'm shopping always, small? You're yeah. supporting your local community? I support at Amazon. I know. I'm very disappointed <laughs> in you. The kids were asking for pretty unique things that I would have had a really difficult fi time finding in stores. I would yeah, have had to. Yeah, that's true. We got unique things, and that's fine because you can't always find everything in all stores. No, and that's cool. They were very specific on what they asked for, and so anyway, and they're no longer little kids where I can just get them whatever they want and they'll be happy. We got their other stuff. Yeah, look store. at the Christmas lights. Hang on. He drove too fast coming down, and I can't show the other lights because it shows the, the name of the neighborhood we live in. <laughs> You're gonna be like that old lady that's yelling at her husband. Slow down! Earl! Turn right, turn I'm right. I'm gonna call you Earl and be like, when we say- Why, why Earl? Because it's such an old man name. Earl! I'll call you Betty. All right. That reminds me of the Paul Simon song. Oh, I don't know that. Oh. I know. It was before my generation. <laughs> Shush! <laughs> if you know what song I'm talking about, Paul Simon's song, uh, call uh, call you Betty. Uh, uh, write it down below. See if you know the song I'm talking about. I don't know. I have no idea. I probably would recognize it if I heard it. But anyway, we're gonna sign off with you guys so that we can go and relax and enjoy our friend night. Take care. Happy holidays. It Happy is officially Sunday. starting. Is it? Yeah. Well. When they see this, it's two days away from Thanksgiving. So, we have arrived in the holiday season. Take care, good night.